I am made from black and white, so my essence is gray. How flattering. Though all things considered, there is at least a smattering of blonde hair and blue eyes, though by a look you'd never guess, cause I am brown skin and therefore my essence is less. They call me mulatto, from mule. Now that's at least half crass, it makes my father a thoroughbred and my mother an ass. So I'm hoping these words become a thing of yesterday. But they mix brown and white ice cream and called it mulatte. When I was in grade 12, I won a contest at a Christian youth center. Turns out the winner got a free CD. I was thrilled. But the pastor took me into the back room and he took one look at me and he said, you look like you like rap music. <laughs> yeah, I swallowed hard and thought to myself, you lucky you rap. <laughs> Future, so I'm trying to make plans that don't involve b-ball, beatbox, or break dance. I'm tired of Sandra Bullock movies with cliches of white saviors, saving poor black kids from poor black behaviors. It reminds me of back when they used blackface. Thought the straight-haired blacks must have been a new race. And you'd think that new producers would be more creative, but the Twilight movies had a white play a native. When I was in grade four, the class bully called me and my best friend niggers. It was sad, but strange, because my best friend was East Indian. <laughs> uh, you know, we told the teacher and she made everything better. God bless her. She slapped the bully on the wrist and said, the word is Negro. <laughs> my East Indian friend thought he was black for three years. <laughs> See, if we're building a nation, then pain is in the mortar. I'm watching grasses get greener even south of the border. They got a black man in office. The paradox means we're equal. But my life hasn't changed, so I'm waiting for the sequel. I don't want to be the same. I'm just trying to be a peer. But with a black, brown, Muslim, disabled, or queer, although we are citizens, we're still second class, still outside the circle, still others in the mass. They say Jim Crow is dead, that we're free from separation. But if you come to Saskatoon and you want to find the natives, just look on the west side. See, because when they wrote segregation out of policy, they left it in economy and wrote it into geography. It's whites to the east and browns to the west like a line in your sand, take a race to the left. I never cease to be amazed how soon we forget that racism's still alive, we haven't beat it yet. I'm still watched at the store, still my freedom's rescinding. Still the police call me bro, condescending. I prayed that this poem here could have a good ending, but as it turns out, we're broken, not blending, and breaking, not mending. I'm still a little less than kin, although my heart is more than kind. And now that I'm finally proud to be black, the world is colorblind. Hmm.